how to create a link tree on Instagram. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create a link tree for Instagram. So let's jump right in. Now you can follow these steps on your phone or you can do this on your desktop. It's really up to your personal preference. Now, if you want to link multiple different links onto your Instagram bio, this might be Amazon finds, this might be your recommended products, this might be your website, this might be your Patreon account. So you might have a lot of different things you want to link and you can only put in one link in your Instagram bio. So to be able to do that, you can use Linktree. Linktree is a service that allows you to take all of your links, put them in one link, and then you can just share that one link for people to find all of your product recommendations or all of the things that you are promoting. Now, to get started, simply head on over to linktr.ee. Once you are on Linktree, click on sign up for free on the top right. Once you click on sign up for free, you can sign up for your free account on Linktree. To sign up, input your email address. And then once you do that, you can add the Linktree name you want to use. So for us, let's say I want to use Gleaming Girly as my name. Now, Gleaming Girly is not taken. If your username, your preferred username is taken, you will have a few different options or recommendations for similar usernames. Click on create account and then on the bottom, you will be required to create a eight character password. Once you've created your password, click on continue over here. And once you have continued, your Linktree account will be created. Now to get started with building our Linktree account, we have to add some info about ourselves. So our name, some interests, what we might be promoting. I'm just going to put in our name over here. Then the category that describes our link tree. So influencer and digital creator. And then we want to promote fashion and beauty items usually. So I can click on continue over here. Now I'm going to proceed with the free version and then just click on join for free. Now click on continue over here. And you can use a pre-existing template or just click on skip to get started from scratch. Now, one thing to note is that you do have to verify your email to be able to publish your Linktree account. So click on verify email in your mailbox to verify your email address. Once you have completed your verification, you can get started with your Linktree account. So you will see that I have completed my verification. I'm just going to refresh this. And once we have done that, this is going to be our link tree. On the top, you will have your link tree link. Then on the bottom, you have a few different setup options. Then on the right, you have a preview to what your link tree is going to look like. Now, the first thing and the most important thing is to add your links. So you can click on add link over here and you can enter the URL that you want to add. So let's say I have a few different websites I want to link to. So I'll just open up those websites. These are all clothing stores and let's say I just am promoting these clothing stores. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my link tree and I'm going to insert these URLs and then I can just click on add. Now, obviously I don't want the titles to be pretty basic. So let's say these are going to be my co-ord recommendations like this and then I have the link inserted. On the bottom we have the layout of this as well. You can make this a featured link or a classic link. Then you have the options to send visitors straight to a link instead of the link tree. Then you have a thumbnail you can add as well as prioritize certain links. Then you can add a schedule, lock certain links and be able to assess the analytics of that link as well. Now I'm going to add another link. And one thing to note is that if you have a Pinterest account, you can just select Pinterest and then you can just add Pinterest over here directly. Now for that, let's say, I'm going to add a Pinterest. You can see you can enter your Pinterest board profile or pin a URL and then set up your link. Now I'm not adding Pinterest, but that's always an option that you do have. So I'm going to click on add link and add our second URL that we have. And then once I have added the second URL, I'm just going to click on enter URL and the title will usually be set by default, but this might be my dress recommendation or just dresses. I don't want to add dresses. These are the dresses that I might be promoting and then I'll just add this as matching sets like this. And then I'll click on add link and then I can add my final link and that is going to be this one. I'll click on add link over here and you can really name it anything you want. I can name this uh, viral butterfly shoes, viral shoe link like this. 
Now, once I have added all of the links, I can proceed with the appearance of my link tree. So for that, I can click on the top right and click on appearance. Once we have clicked on appearance, we can get started with customization. Now you have the first icon you will see on the top, which is going to be your image for your own image. So usually this should be the same as your Instagram profile. I'm going to click on pick an image and I will click on upload your own and I will upload one of the images that I have. So I'm going to be using this one over here. And this is just a model's image. I'm just using this as a reference so you guys can see how you can build your link tree. Now I'm just uploading my own image. Below that, you can add a bio as well. My clothing, inspo, and recommendations like this. And then I can add my social media icons as well. So if I want to add a particular social media platform, I can add that as well. I can click on add icon. Let's say I want to link to my YouTube account and I can enter my YouTube URL over here. And I'm just going to add a random URL like this. I'll just have to use YouTube and I'll just add a simple URL back into my Linktree account like this. Click on add to Linktree and this will just add a icon at the bottom or at the top depending on how you want to style it uh, to your Linktree account. I want to place it at the bottom so I'll just leave it at there. You can even add these as a link, it's totally optional. And then once you have done that we can go back into appearance and then once we go into appearance we can customize the colors, the backgrounds to some extent. You will see you have your themes and some of these can only be accessed by the pro link tree accounts but you can use themes like these so let's say i want this colorful one i can click on this or maybe i want this pink or neutral one i can select that i have this one as well we have these blooming themes as well and you can customize the background to a simple color as well you also have the option to choose how you want your buttons to appear as well as the button colors. So, so let's say I want my button colors to be black and the font color to be white. So I can just set that up like so. And once I do that, I can select the buttons over here so you can choose, you know, a particular type of button as well. Now, let's say I want the backgrounds to be like a shocking pink color. So I'll just select that over here. I really like pink. I'll go for a darker pink. I don't want it to be too bright. I'll take a pink color from here like this. Now, once I've done that, I can scroll down and choose the font I want to use. I'll choose this one over here and the color of my font and then our sharing preview. Now, let's say once we have completed that, we can click on settings and we can choose, you know, our basic icons, SMS signups, email signups and more. And just like that, our link tree has been created. Now, once your link tree has been created, just go into links and click on copy URL. Now, if I paste my URL, this will lead people directly to my link tree and people can click on any of these links and they would be led to these websites. Now, what I'm going to do again before adding this to my Instagram is I'm going to go into Bitly and I can go into get started for free and I can just use their URL shortener or any URL shortener like this. You can search for anyone, but I like to use Bitly. I'll just use this one for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my URL from Linktree and I'm going to use Bitly to shorten it further. Now, this is sometimes due to the fact that some people, you know, some people use a few different links that might not be allowed and it's better to have this added layer of security in Linktree where you are using a shortened URL. So now I have a short URL and now I can go into Instagram, click on edit profile and then in my bio, I can just insert this link, click on submit and now if I go into my Instagram bio over here, we have this URL and people can go on ahead and access all of my links via this singular link over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.